journal entry April 5th, 2024. In this dream, you and your girlfriend Ashley find yourselves in a fantastical realm that blends the pastoral charm of rural Europe with the neon-tinged allure of urban Japan. Together, you wander through this hybrid landscape, visiting with a curious mix of familiar and unfamiliar faces. As you explore this wonderfully unusual setting, you find yourselves responsible for caring for a baby that has been magically transformed into an action figure the size of your palm. The tiny, alien-like, fishman figure soon leaves your care, joining a world of animated toys that seem to have embraced human culture and language. Your journey takes you to a toy store where you marvel at the living, breathing playthings that inhabit the shelves. While some bystanders appear unsettled by this uncanny display, you find yourself captivated by the blurring of boundaries between the animate and inanimate. Next, you and Ashley visit a comedy show, the laughter and merriment of the performance providing a delightful respite. But your sense of tranquility is soon disrupted when you arrive at a peculiar spa, where you rush headlong into a hot tub situated in a room entirely encased in ice. To your chagrin, you discover that the tub is already occupied, though Ashley seems content to simply relax and enjoy the experience. Undeterred, you venture out on your own, exploring the labyrinthine hotel apartment complex. In the back lobby, you stumble upon a heated confrontation between the building's owner and some individuals attempting to abscond with the property's broken keys for scrap metal. The enraged owner responds by summoning a person wielding a nail gun, who opens fire within the confined space. Reacting with superhuman agility, you dodge the hailstorm of nails, which appear to slow down around you, granting you a heightened perception of the danger. While some onlookers are startled by the violence, many seem to find the spectacle oddly entertaining. Alas, your luck runs out, and you are struck in the skull by both a nail and a shard of glass, leaving a gaping wound at the top of your head. Remarkably, you forego seeking medical attention, instead opting to rest on a couch in the lobby. When you awaken, you are surprised to find that Ashley has seemingly abandoned you, offering assistance to your mutual friends as they depart on a bus. Rushing to intervene, you prevent Ashley from leaving without you, confronting her with the idea that if the roles were reversed, she would be furious. But just as you voice this thought, the dream abruptly ends, leaving you to ponder the unresolved tensions and the curious blend of the mundane and the extraordinary that have unfolded before you. Miru Accentoy, Character Profile Personality. Miru is deeply insightful and possesses an unusual perspective on the world. They find wonder in the mundane and are often puzzled by people's fascination with the extraordinary. Miru is compassionate, strives for harmony, and has a soft spot for the misunderstood or overlooked aspects of life. They exhibit patience and understanding, especially towards the living toys, showing a level of empathy that most find perplexing. Occupation advocate and guardian for living toys. Miru works to bridge the gap between humans and living toys, ensuring that these new beings can integrate smoothly into society and are treated with respect and kindness. Powers. Along with limited superhuman reflexes that allow them to react to danger with astonishing speed, Miru has the unique ability to communicate and understand the language of toys. This power not only helps them in their advocacy work, but also allows them to understand the world from a truly unique perspective. Motivations Miru is driven by a desire to create a world where everyone, human or toy, can live in harmony. They see the emergence of living toys as a step towards a more diverse and inclusive society and work tirelessly to help both humans and toys see the beauty in their differences. Backstory once a lonely figure who struggled to fit in due to their peculiar views on the world, Miru's life changed when toys started coming to life. Recognizing themselves in these new beings, Miru found their calling as an advocate for the living toys. Their background, marked by moments of intense danger and the challenge of fitting in, has equipped them with the resilience and empathy needed for their unique role. In a world where toys stop back, dancing through a dream no lack caught between the real and make-believe chasing harmony we weave stepped into a land neither here nor there toys alive speaking in the air an action figure baby in my care became an alien a sight so rare had to spot a mistake a dive too soon hot tub tense beneath the neon moon toy store escapades a melody's tune, speaking toys, a language, a boom Nail gun fires, a close 
rules to skip. Dodging danger, no cape. A piece missing, no shape. Harmony's quest, our dreamscape. In a world where toys talk back, dancing through our dreams.